Who would have thought that in 2008 a crime of tens of millions of dollars could have been perpetrated on the citizens of this idyllic place? That Parliament would prostitute its ultimate powers to pass retrospective legislation to right clear wrongs? That banks would have traded a debt amongst themselves down to less than 50% of face value could still want replacement at 100%? The good citizens of Mangafai and their Kuiper cousins will have their day in court on the 3rd of Feb next year, despite all the adversities. When uh, the Kuiper District Council decided to start uh, doing something about installing a sewage system in the Mangawai area, uh, I was one of many people who said that we couldn't see uh, what the justification was and that the proposed schemes were not necessarily going to benefit the area and cost a great deal of money. The financial modelling for how Ecokia was going to pay for itself was clearly uh, completely out of whack and it was predicated on uh, all sorts of unrealistic assumptions about growth in the Mangafai area at a time when um, we were going into an economic recession and the development simply wasn't going to be occurring at that level. The result is a scheme that looks like it has cost somewhere of the order of 80 to 100 million dollars <coughs> and is worth about 15 to 18 million at the best and so there's this mountain of debt that's been incurred illegally it could not have been spent on the sewage scheme that has been installed here it is unimaginable that that much money could have been wasted on a scheme of this size so the question arose, and we asked it, where has the money gone? What has happened to 50 to $80 million of, of borrowed money that has simply seems to have vanished up in smoke? And uh, it's very regrettable that the Auditor General was actually the agency that was given the task of looking into this. It's a bit like asking the police to look into the conduct of their own cases, you know. Eventually, the council was going to pass a series of um, unlawful resolutions to do with rating and I had no choice but to resign to not be implicated in those decisions. Their advice from their lawyers was that it didn't matter whether the debt was illegal or not, it had to be repaid. So it simply turns like a mad dog on its ratepayers and says, well we've got this problem and you have to solve it. For a debt to be legal, the level of debt must be signalled in a document called the Financial Impact Statement so that the ratepayers must know in advance how much money is being proposed to be spent and what the money will be used for. But in the case of this council and this area, Mangawai, at no time did the council ever consult its ratepayers before it had entered into the commitment to borrow the money. The, the interpretation of the law is that once a council has entered into an arrangement to borrow money, the council must pay that money back and <coughs> if it has no other source of income, it can set a rate to get that money from its ratepayers. In December of 2012, they made an announcement that there was uh, no, no good purpose would be served by further consultation with the community, that it wouldn't be in the interests of good governance. The commissioners who now run the council uh, have decided to fix the problems by getting some legislation drawn up which they've taken to Parliament and asked Parliament to just basically push everything under the carpet. You have to say that people conspired to defeat the course of justice. They deliberately uh, avoided obeying the law. They knowingly avoided obeying the law and were contemptuous of the law. And now it looks very much as though they're going to get away with that scot-free. The question is whether ratepayers can be obliged to be made to pay for debts that were incurred illegally. Because if that turns out to be the case, we are all lost. Every ratepayer in New Zealand is at the mercy of whoever lends money to local government. We would be very grateful for any help, and we mean any help, $10, uh, that we can get from anybody who will contribute. They don't have to be a member of the association, but uh, we have got a website. It is www 
mangawairatepayers.org. And if you go there, there's a button to uh, make a donation to the litigation costs. This is crucially important to the future cost of being a New Zealand citizen if you own property. Current generation and the next three or four, it, this has got to be sorted out. If you did not agree to a specific council investment, you should not be liable for the debt. We need your support because this could and may already have happened in your district.